morning, guys. Good morning, Ted. Ted, tell me something. Why do you wear your hat over your eyes like that? Well, it's not his fault, Lou. It keeps slipping down as his brain shrinks. <laughs> Why do you keep doing that, Murray? Hmm? Keep putting me down, talking about how dumb I am? Well, I'm sorry, Ted. From now on, I'll only talk about how smart you are. Okay. <laughs> Not very. <laughs> Just keep it up. Keep it up, Murray. One of these days, you'll be sorry. Oh, good morning, Mayor. Nice day, huh? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Why do I get the feeling this isn't going to be my morning? Hey, Murr, I'm sorry. I shouldn't take it out on you. I just didn't get any sleep last night. Well, how come? I don't know. I've started having insomnia. It's the third time this week. It's getting me crazy. Well, don't worry, Mary. Insomnia may be annoying, but it's nothing to lose sleep over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Murr, I can't even joke about it. I mean, not being able to sleep is one of the most frustrating things in the world. Yeah, I know. I had it a couple of times myself. I bet you never had it three times in one week. I gotta get some help. I'm gonna see the doctor this afternoon, and I'm beginning to wonder if I'll ever sleep again. Hi, Daddy. Bonnie, hey, what are you doing here? My journalism class sent me. Hi, Miss Richards. Hi, Ray. Uh, your uh, journalism class sent you for what? A really big favor. You see, they know you work at WJM, and they want a real professional to come and give the annual guest lecture two weeks from tomorrow night. And I kind of promised them I could arrange it. I hope you don't mind. Mind? Hey, why should I mind? No, it's my pleasure, baby. Oh, good. Because we figured you'd be a close friend of Mr. Baxter. You're the best one to ask him. <laughs> Mr. Baxter? I think I'll uh, just see if Mr. Grant wants anything. Well, it's just that, uh, look, you have to understand, Bonnie, I don't see Ted every day. Uh, uh, you know, there's no knowing when I'm going to see him again. Hi, Mr. Baxter. Hi, oh, Bonnie. Uh, say, Ted. What is it, Slaughter? <laughs> say, Ted, if, uh, if you've got a second, uh, I'd like to ask you something. It's, uh, it's sort of a favor. Favor? You want me to do you a favor? You expect me to do you a favor? You had the gall to ask me to do you a favor? Go <laughs> oh, to hell with it. <laughs> yes, Ted. I want a favor from you. How badly do you want this favor, Slaughter? <laughs> well, it's not me. How about never insulting me again? What? You heard me. Hey, come on, Ted. Insulting you is one of the greatest joys of my life. <laughs> And asking me to give that up would be like asking you to give up chocolate cigarettes. <laughs> exactly. Well, promise, Marie. You gotta promise, otherwise it's no deal. No, Ted, never. <sighs> okay. I promise. <laughs> A favor, you say? Well, of course. Whatever it is, you got it. All you had to do was ask. He <laughs> did it, Daddy. Thanks. Wow, where do I tell the class? Look at this. What's going on in this newsroom today? Kids? People sleeping? No, no. Let her sleep. She's been having a tough time. Is she really asleep? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? <laughs> she looks so peaceful. Like a beautiful princess. Yeah. Look at that expression. Like a sweet little baby. Like an angel. Good morning. Great day, Hummer. Huh, yeah, wonderful. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. Ted is really getting me down. Well, zing him. That always cheers you up. Give him a good shot. Yeah, right. Hey, you've been really chipper these days. Oh, well, Murr, I'm just sleeping so well every night. I mean, what a difference. Yeah, so I've noticed. Hey, what did that doctor give you, anyway? 
Just a simple little white pill, but oh, Murr, what a great little white pill. <laughs> Murray, have you started on that speech yet? Oh, no, Ted. Tut, 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 Murray. Idle hands are the devil's helper. <laughs> I'll get cracking on that. In the meanwhile, I have half a mind to go read a book. <laughs> I said, I have half a mind to go read a book. <laughs> Good, Ted. Enjoy the book. Good, Ted. Enjoy the book. <laughs> That's witty. Very witty. <laughs> oh, you're certainly being tolerant. Now, like... shut up. <laughs> Mary, can I see you in my office? Sure. What's all this about a little white pill? Oh, I was just telling Murray about my sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? You mean barbiturates? The kind of stuff pushers sell to school kids? <laughs> okay, Mr. Grant, let's snip this in the bud right away. I'm not interested in whether you approve or disapprove. It's a personal matter. Now, if you have business to discuss, I'll stay. If not, please excuse me. It's about business, Mary. About a documentary I'm planning on the dangers of sleeping pills. <laughs> We're talking about business now, Mary. Boy, you really think you're cute, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I figure our documentary could show the terrible things that could happen to you, to one who became dependent on them. What terrible things? Well, for one thing, you could end up looking like this. <laughs> I uh, presume that our documentary would also show the many cases where one was not addicted to sleeping pills. Well, that would depend on how often one had taken them, Mary. Suppose one had taken them every night for two weeks with no sign of addiction. <laughs> Mary, taking them every night for two weeks is addiction. I'd like to put cold cream on this every night. <laughs> I can give up sleeping pills any time I want. Then do me a favor, do it tonight. Why? To prove you can. That's ridiculous. You can't stop, can you? Yes, of course I can stop, Mr. Grant. I am not addicted. Then prove it. For your sake. Excuse me, uh, Lou. Ted, did it ever occur to you that Mary and I might be having a private talk? Oh, come on. <laughs> We're one big family here at Devil's Gym. There's no secret. <laughs> suppose, suppose, Ted, that it's personal. Wouldn't it embarrass you to listen in on something like that? Oh, well, yeah, if we're personal, then I'd, I'd leave. All right, Mr. Grant, if it will make you happy, I won't take my pill tonight. And we'll just see what happens. <laughs>
I find there's nothing like a brisk walk to stimulate my brain. You got a brain and all the What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hear you. No, I didn't say anything. Oh. <laughs> I thought I missed something. <laughs> you see, I don't always understand what people say. <laughs> <laughs> Something the matter? No, 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 nothing's the matter. You're not getting sick, are you? No, now listen, Good, I want to tell you... because I'd hate to see you get ill on the day of your daughter's big class. It is tonight, isn't it? Yes, Ted, it's tonight. Now look, uh, here's the speech I just finished. Thank you, Murray. Good morning. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, well, I'd like to make idle chit-chat with you two, but I've got to memorize my address. Oh, good, and then maybe you can memorize your phone number. <laughs> You better not be laughing, Murray. <laughs> Thanks. Well, listen, someone's got to do it. <laughs> you took the pill, didn't you? No. You didn't? Hey, Mary, that's terrific. Yeah, oh, well. I'm really amazed. Because I thought you were hooked for sure, but you made a monkey out of me, and I'm man enough to admit it. Yeah, oh, well. Boy, am I proud of you. That took guts and determination and willpower to break that habit. Yeah, oh, well. <laughs> we're going to celebrate. I'm going to take you out to dinner and buy you champagne and tell the whole world about you. I took the lousy pill. I figured. <laughs> Mr. Grant. It's my life, and it's private. If you're going to take that attitude, I can't fight you. I can't help you until you admit you need help. I can't help you until you start to crumble. <laughs> <laughs> you crumbling? Yes. OK. Now, listen. All that you have to do is make yourself go to sleep at night. Natural sleep without pills. Mr. Grant, I tried. Believe me, I really did try. It's got me scared now, too, because I can't do it. Mary, you've got to. Please, for me, tonight, no pills. Look, I'll call you tonight. And if you feel like company, I'll come right over. All right, I'll, tr I'll try it. And a girl. But this time, you got to make it stick. Excuse me, but I've got to talk to the two of you. Uh, one second, Ted. This is personal. <laughs> personal. It's always personal. Every time I come in here, you two are always doing something personal. <laughs> well, what if I get something personal, too? Then you're entitled to your privacy. Exactly. So we'll leave. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Fred. That's all right, Mr. Grant. If you need me, I'll be downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Mary? 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 God. <laughs> I 
kept phoning for over an hour, and the line was busy. Finally, I called the operator, and she said the phone was off the hook. I didn't know where you were. I'm in the bathtub. <laughs> I don't take my phone off the hook when I'm taking a bath. I know, but you know, what with the pills and everything, I just, I didn't know what might have happened. Mr. Grant, I am taking a bath. <laughs> Naked! Naked? Yes! Yeah. Many people bathe that way. And you are sitting in my bathroom watching me. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I came over here because I was worried about yes, I you. Realize that, worried Mr. Grant. to death. You think I care that you're in the bathtub? Obviously not. Ah, you think that's why I came? I was at home with my shoes off, having a beer, nice and comfortable. You imagine I suddenly said to myself, "Hey, why don't I go over and see if I can cop a peek of mirror?" Of course. <laughs> I can't believe that you think that of me, Mary. That's a really rotten thought. I am in no position to argue with you. Boy, you really find out about some people. Mary, it's me, Murray. Oh, my God! I was worried about you. I tried to phone, but your phone was busy. Where in here? Mr. <laughs> tonight. I was sensational. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. Is that the only seat you got in here? I am taking a bath. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Wait a minute. I want to read Mary my speech. <laughs> Marie? Yeah. <laughs> This will only take an hour. Ah! <laughs> gone? Yeah. Feeling sleepy? No. After 45 minutes in a hot tub, I'm now wide awake and shriveled. Oh, don't worry. We'll get you to sleep yet. Oh, I hope so, Mr. Grant. I'm so tired. I have three daughters of my own, you know. I've learned a little bit about putting people to sleep. Close your eyes. You'll see. It'll be easy without pills. Excuse me, Mr. Grant. Where are you going? To the bathroom. What are you going to do there? Nothing. I'll be doing nothing. No, you don't. Mr. Grant, get back to me. No, I'm sorry. Mr. Grant, please give me the pills. I don't want to have to use force. <laughs> I can reach, you can reach. That's right, now give me my pill. Mary, you're going to thank me for this. Not tonight! Yeah. I'll never get to sleep. Yes, you will. No, yes. I won't! Come on, come on over here. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Come on. Okay, now you just do what I tell you to do. All right. Whew. Now, I want you to just breathe deeply as if you were asleep. And before you know it, you will be asleep. This isn't going to work. Mary, trust me. Trust me. Now, breathe deeply. Now, just put your head down. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed and pretend you're asleep. Now, I'm going to do something that never failed with my kids. Yeah. I'm going to sing to you. <laughs> Just keep your eyes closed and keep breathing. Over in Killarney, many
Many years ago, my mother sang a song to me in tones so sweet and low. Just a simple little ditty in her good old Irish way. But I'd give the world to hear her sing that song to me today. Up a lazy river. <laughs> Wake up. What? Where? Uh, uh, it's... <laughs> it's seven o'clock. My doctor says it's very important to make yourself get up on schedule. Seven o'clock? Yeah. In, in the morning? Yeah. Mr. Grant, I slept? Mm-hmm. You sure did. Oh, Mr. Grant, yeah. thank you. Did anyone ever tell you you snore? I what? We, we did. Did you the, uh, the the whole night? Yeah. You, oh, Mr. Grant, thank you so much. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Just stick with it now. You did it once. You can do it every single night. No right. more pills. No more. I promise. Mr. Grant, just, uh, just one thing, though. Um, I didn't really snore, did I? I mean, I know it's silly and everything, but I have this horror of snoring. I, I didn't, did I? Mary Richard snore? <laughs>
Laura, Laura, hush, now don't you cry. Tura, Laura, Laura, Tura, Laura, lie. Tura, Laura, Laura, that's an Irish Seven o'clock. My doctor says it's very important to make yourself get up on schedule. Seven o'clock yeah. in, in the morning? Yeah. Mr. Grant, I slept? Mm -hmm. You sure did. Oh, Mr. Grant, yeah. thank you. Did anyone ever tell you you snore? <laughs> I what? <laughs> we, we, did, did you, the, uh, the, the whole night? Yeah. You, Oh, Mr. Grant, thank you so much. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, just stick with it now. You did it once, you can do it every single night. No right. more pills. No more, I promise. <laughs> Mr. Grant, just, uh... <laughs> Look at this. What's going on in this newsroom today? Kids? People sleeping? Shh, Lou, Lou, let her sleep. She's been having a tough time. Is she really asleep? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? <laughs> she looks so peaceful. Like a beautiful princess. Yeah. Look at that expression. Like a sweet little baby. Like an angel. Good morning. Great day, Hummer. Yeah, wonderful. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. Ted is really getting me down. Well, zing him. That always cheers you up. Give him a good shot. Yeah, <laughs> right. Hey, you've been really chipper these days. Oh, well, Murr, I'm just sleeping so well every night. I mean, what a difference. Yeah, so I've noticed. Hey, what did that doctor give you, anyway? Just a simple little white pill, but oh, Murr, what a great little white pill. <laughs> <laughs> Murray, have you started on that speech yet? Oh, no, Ted. Tut, 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 Murray. Idle hands are the devil's helper. Now, let's get cracking on that. In the meanwhile, I have half a mind to go read a book. <laughs> Didn't you hear me, Murray? I said I have half a mind to go read a book. Good, Ted. Enjoy the book. 
good Ted enjoyed the book. <laughs> <laughs> That's witty, very witty. <laughs> well, you're certainly being tolerant. Now like... shut up. <laughs> Mary, can I see you in my office? Sure. <clears throat> now, what's all this about a little white pill? Oh, I was just telling Murray about my sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? You mean barbiturates? The kind of stuff pushers sell to school kids? <laughs> Snip this in the bud right away. <laughs> I'm not interested in whether you approve or disapprove. It's a personal matter. Now, if you have business to discuss, I'll stay. If not, please excuse me. It's about business, Mary. About a documentary I'm planning on the dangers of sleeping pills. <laughs> <clears throat> Over in Killarney, Many years ago, my mother sang a song to me in tones so sweet and low. Just a simple little ditty in her good old Irish way. But I give the world to hear her sing that song to me today. The lazy river. <laughs> Tura Lura Lura, Tura Lura Lai, Tura Lura Lura. Hush, now don't you cry. Tura Lura Lura, Tura Lura Lai, Tura Lura Lura, that's an Irish
wake up. What? Where? Uh, it's, it's seven o'clock. My doctor says it's very important to make yourself get up on schedule. Seven o'clock yeah. in, in the morning? Yeah. Mr. Grant, I slept? Mm -hmm. You sure did. Oh, Mr. Grant, yeah. thank you. Did anyone ever tell you you snore? I what? <laughs> we, we, did, did you, the, uh, the, the whole night? Yeah. You, oh, Mr. Grant, thank you so much. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Just stick with it now. You did it once. You can do it every single night. No right. more pills. No more, I promise. <laughs> Mr. Grant, just, uh... Just one thing, though. Um, I didn't really snore, did I? I mean, I know it's silly and everything, but I have this horror of snoring. I, I didn't, did I? Mary Richard snore? I find there's nothing like a brisk walk to stimulate my brain. You got a brand new What was that? <laughs> I couldn't hear you. No, I didn't say anything. Oh, I thought I missed something. You see, I don't always understand what people say. <laughs> Something the matter? No, 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 nothing's the matter. You're not getting sick, are you? No, now listen, Good, I want to tell you... because I'd hate to see you get ill on the day of your daughter's big class. It is tonight, isn't it? Yes, Ted, it's tonight. Now look, uh, here's the speech I just finished. Thank you, Murray. Good morning. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, well, I'd like to make idle chit-chat with you two, but I've got to memorize my address. Oh, good, and then maybe you can memorize your phone number. <laughs> You better not be laughing, Murray. <laughs> Thanks. Well, listen, someone's got to do it. <laughs> you took the pill, didn't you? No. You didn't? Hey, Mary, that's terrific. Yeah, oh, well. I'm really amazed. Because I thought you were hooked for sure, but you made it. <laughs> Just keep it up. Keep it up, Murray. One of these days, you'll be sorry. <laughs> oh, good morning, Mayor. Nice day, huh? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Oh, why do I get the feeling this isn't going to be my morning? Hey, Mur, I'm sorry. I shouldn't take it out on you. I just didn't get any sleep last night. Well, how come? I don't know. I've started having insomnia. It's the third time this week. It's getting me crazy. Well, don't worry, Mary. Insomnia may be annoying, but it's nothing to lose sleep over. 
Oh, boy. Or I can't even joke about it. I mean, not being able to sleep is one of the most frustrating things in the world. Yeah, I know. I had it a couple of times myself. I bet you never had it three times in one week. I gotta get some help. I'm gonna see the doctor this afternoon, and I'm beginning to wonder if I'll ever sleep again. Hi, Daddy. Barney, hey, what are you doing here? My journalism class sent me. Hi, Miss Richards. Hi, Ray. Uh, your uh, journalism class sent you for what? A really big favor. You see, they know you work at WJM, and they want a real professional to come and give the annual guest lecture two weeks from tomorrow night. And I kind of promised them I could arrange it. I hope you don't mind. Mind? <laughs> Why should I mind? No, it's my pleasure, baby. Oh, good. Because we figured you'd be a close friend of Mr. Baxter. You're the best one to ask him. Mr. <laughs> Baxter? I think I'll uh, just see if Mr. Grant wants anything. <laughs> Well, it's just that, uh, look, you have to understand, Barney, I don't see Ted every day. Uh, uh, you know, that's no knowing when I'm going to see him again. Hi, Mr. Baxter. Hi, Barney. Uh, say, Ted. What is it, Slaughter? <laughs> say, Ted, if, uh, if you've got a second, uh, I'd like to ask you something. It's, uh, it's sort of a favor. Favor? You want me to do you a favor? You expect me to do you a favor? You had the gall to ask me to do you a favor? Go <laughs> oh, to hell with it. <laughs> yes, Ted. I want a favor from you. How badly do you want this favor, Slaughter? <laughs> well, it's not me. How about never insulting me again? What? You heard me. Hey, come on, Ted. Insulting you is one of the greatest joys of my life. <laughs> And asking me to give that up would be like asking you to give up chocolate cigarettes. <laughs> exactly. Well, promise, Marie. You gotta promise, otherwise it's no deal. No, Ted, never. <sighs> okay. I promise. <laughs> A favor, you say? Well, of course. Whatever it is, you got it. All you had to do was ask. He did it, Daddy. Thanks. Wow.